back to back stem and leaf plots, how do they work? Got two sets of numbers. I got my red numbers and my yellow numbers. Make a normal stem and leaf plot with one set of your numbers. So that will involve a stem. First off, first, find your biggest number in either set. Do that. All right, we got 140s. And find your smallest number, we got 70s. All right, so I'm going to set up my stem starting at 140, right? Remember, 10 digits in the stem. 14, and I'm going to count down to 7. That's because I have 140s and I have 70s. Okay, I'm going to put my yellow numbers on this just like a normal stem and leaf plot. We've got 128, 124, 121. Remember, 10, 10 stitches there. So 128, 124, 121. We got 108, 104. Ninety nine, ninety nine, ninety six, ninety three, ninety two, eighty seven, eighty six, eighty three. That's a stem and leaf flat for my yellow numbers. Back to back means I'm going to do the same thing for my red numbers, but backwards, right? Facing this direction. So it means that my red numbers are going to be read backwards. I'm going to be reading for kind of, kind of, in a way, from right to left. We got 142, 141. 142, 141. 127. There are no 130s, but we still keep the 13 there as a space holder, placeholder. We got 118, 16, 13. Ninety-eight, ninety-eight, ninety-seven, ninety-six, ninety-five, ninety-three, eighty-nine, eighty-four, seventy-two. 98, 98, back-to-back -back stem and leaf plot with this set of numbers and of course you always want a nice title it has something to do with the situation at hand which hopefully you know by the time you're making one of these Stacked box plots, or double box plots, or multi box plots, whatever you want to call it. You got multiple sets. I'm going to make a box plot out of each. Just put them on top of or above the same number line. You need to find your biggest number, smallest number. So we need to get from 1 to 25 on our number line. box plot, you need to find median. 
So the center number, 12 and 14, halfway between them is 13. That's the median. Then you also need to find the quartile marks. That would be, take my upper set, cut it in half. That's going to happen right here. Take my lower set, cut it in half. That's going to happen right there. And you need your minimum and your maximum. So 2, 8, 13, 21, 25 for the lips. Two, eight, 13, 21, 25. For a fuller explanation on making box plots, you can see an earlier video, earlier topic, just single box plots. That's how a single box plot is made. Minimum, first quartile, median, third quartile, maximum. Then you just do the same thing with your other set. Find the middle number. Nine is my median. Look at my lower half. Got two in the middle here. Halfway between them is the number two. Look at my upper half, 12, 15, 18, 20. I need something in here between 15 and 18, 16.5, and then of course my minimum one and my maximum 20. So one, two, nine, 16.5, and 20. Two box plots stacked one after another. We could have more lists. We could stack more box plots if we wanted to for display purposes, for comparison purposes. You do want to label each one with an appropriate title so they know who, uh, who or what is compared. Good title for the graph. If there's any kind of unit that you want to talk about, put that on as well. Stack box plots.